What's up, Wolf Pack? It's Josiah Edwards. And John Sheehan. It's September 14th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Slowly, things have been reopening around California and all places. Some stores are opening up, and some other places are opening back up. And some people aren't wearing masks, but here are Gabby and Paula to tell you the importance on wearing a mask. Hey, Wolf Pack. I'm Paula Sabula. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and we're here to give you general information on face masks. On June 18, Governor Newsom made face masks mandatory for all California residents to slow the spread of coronavirus. But why are masks so important? A face covering is required in public places and in close proximity to people who do not live in your home. Masks protect you and others in case you or someone else carries COVID but are not symptomatic. It does this by reducing the spread of respiratory droplets when a mask is worn over your nose and mouth. Now, which masks offer the most protection? N95 masks filter out 95% of particles. However, medical professionals are in serious shortages of N95 masks. So it is recommended to not purchase these masks for personal use. Although disposable masks are more convenient, it is easy for outside air to move through the sides. And if not properly disposed, they can harm the wildlife. Wear a cloth mask instead. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention recommends cloth masks with two or more layers for the general public. You can even make your own mask at home. Before putting on your mask, make sure to wash your hands and only touch the ear loops to hook it around your ears. Adjust as needed, but don't touch the front or inside of your mask as you may transfer bacteria. When you don't need to wear a mask, make sure you are far from others and do not pull it down to your neck. This area has already been exposed to the air's germs and bacteria and can infect the inside of your mask. Instead, take off your mask completely by the ear loops and store in a plastic bag. If your mask is disposable, remove the strings before properly disposing so we don't endanger our wildlife. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Paula Cibulo. And, and remember to wear your mask. Let's see what artist Annie has to say in her interview with Ashley. Hi, my name is Annie Doe, and I'm in 12th grade in high school, and I'm in Art 3 class. Hi, I'm Ellen Dodge. I am a senior, and I'm in Art 3. I'm Hannah Makino, and I'm a senior, and I am in AP Art. How is art important to you? Art is important to me because it's like a piece of my soul. By incorporating my personality and interest into what I draw, it it's like a sense of my own identity in there. So by preserving it, it could be really bad at that time, but when you look back to it, you realize that you've improved and so probably pers your personality also improved. So it's a really good thing to improve yourself on and also kind of look back to see how much you've grown in the process. I just like have to, I have to create. If I don't create, my brain's just all scrambled around, you know, and um, it's, it's just like, it's a relaxing, relaxing like activity and um, it's just important. I think it's just as important to create as it is to, you know, learn about like math or science. So it's, just, it's, it's equally as important, if not more for me, for like creative people, I guess, I don't know. Um, art is important to me because I've always been obsessed with like um, fantasy um, pictures or like ideas. Because as I was growing up, I've been always reading like sci-fi books or like fictional books, fantasy books, all that type of stuff. And also watching a lot of movies and TV shows helped impact of what made me start going to art because everything about from those books and movies, TV shows, it's, it's all like in the artistic style. What inspires you to draw? Um, personally, I am most inspired by human expression and emotion. Um, by if you want to be specific, I'm um, influenced by Nintendo and Studio Ghibli. Those definitely influence me the most. But the reason why I love them so much is because there's so much like depth and emotion, story and expression in them. And that always inspires me to draw, to like portray those emotions and like spread them to the public. That's I'm inspired by, my drawings are inspired by movies specific, like, or, or uh, musical artists that I'm listening to. Um, although it's not like abstract, like, you know, like I'm not like painting my emotions or stuff. It's still, it's like, I have a connection with that piece, I guess. Like it's someone I enjoy drawing. Like I, I get excited, like, oh, I'm gonna draw like my Al Pacino drawing. Like I was so excited to do that one. Um, so yeah. 
Um, what mostly inspires me to draw is a lot of movies and TV shows, and I read a lot of books too, so I get inspiration from the characters and then put it into my artwork. But uh, and another way I get inspired by drawing is um, I watch a lot of cartoon TV shows or movies, and then I also read a lot of books too, and also other uh, fan uh, fantasy books and stuff like that. So I just take those um, characters and then I draw it in my own art style. Thanks, Ashley. That's all we have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Josiah Edwards. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a great day, Wolf Pack.